Okay, we are here going to demonstrate the elevator and it's cold out here so hopefully everything works. So we're going to come over here, push our button. This is our button to bring the elevator up. So our elevator is coming up from the lower floor. And we'll sit here. As soon as it gets here, the door will open. Inside, the elevator door will close. As soon as everybody is inside, here's our other button. We will push this. Now we go down to our lower level. Here's our sign for the elevator doors to close automatically. And it's a little dark in here for the camera. Door opens. There's a demo of the controls for the elevator. We're using Monster Guts nerve centers along with relays and a buttons. So I will activate this and you'll see the lights flashing right below Pico. As this active activates, we'll go through a cycle and you'll see the door open. And it's cold, so that's probably what's not going on there. Let's turn the air pressure up. There we go. So let's activate it one more time. Timer's working. So as soon as the timer changes, relay two. Cylinder activated. Door opened up. And then we'll shut off again. Door closes. This is our cylinder that activates the elevator, opens and closes, so we'll activate it one more time, bring the elevator up, it's cold out in the barn today, so I had to turn the air pressure up, so we'll see the act cylinder activate. Door open and monster gets timer will change. Door will close. Alright, so there we are. Here's our controls. And the same goes for the other door. This controller here activates the other door on the elevator. It will open and close it. And uh, relays to turn it on and off. I have to tie everything up and your powers mac valves are 12 volts and 24 volts because it's all i had on hand these are both 24s that activates the door on the right opens and closes along with um, proximity switches on the doors to disengage so that they're not always on air is not always there these are mac valves for the left door open and close this is the relay that turns this switch on which is the back side of the button on the inside it opens or calls the elevator sends the elevator down and that will not get power until the other door is totally closed and that's why that relay is there otherwise if they're in the elevator then they can push the button before the door is closed, which takes away the, uh, from the effect. So, and those are the controls for the elevator. And it shows the operation.
And then the back side, I don't know if you can see, nope, because it's too dark up there. But there's another cylinder similar to the other one over here, which is a 36 inch stroke. So it'll open and close the elevator, but it's cold for the cylinders and the Mac valves to operate. So just a little slow today, but everything's working fine.